We believe, and as everybody knows, that Hassan is an innocent per person who was kidnapped in Syria. We give warning. Mr. Ketri. Excuse me? No. Uh, this is normally I should have a cameraman, so look at me, oh, otherwise it's yes. okay. Uh, Hassan, Hassan, an innocent person who was kidnapped in Syria. And we ask, uh, we know it's a fabricated story. We told everybody we need this guy to come back home to his family, to his daughter, to his uh, wife, to his family. Nobody listens to us. So we give warning and we threaten. And we uh, we started, we told, we told everybody we're going to kidnap people. And we did kidnap people. And we need our son back home. Uh, we booked a deadline. Nobody answers. That's why we did what we did. Now we stopped all uh, military actions. We're looking for uh, to have a happy ending for the story. We give time to the uh, authorities, Lebanese authorities, to uh, do the negotiation with uh, the Turkish uh, government. I believe we have we we're gonna in 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 a couple of days we will find, we will see a happy ending for uh, Hassan case and the 11th uh, kidnappers uh, pilgrims in in uh, Syria. Okay, how many people do you have in detention now? Syrians and one Turkish. How many? Uh, always I say it's more than 20. So okay. this is my number. I always say it. So okay. you you think. Whatever you want to think. And how is living the Turkish guy in good condition? Yes, he lives in good condition, but he was sick for a couple of days. He's doing good now. Uh, what are his uh, life detention conditions? Uh, he is good, good condition. He lives in good conditions, like uh, uh, five stars. Yeah, five stars. <laughs> Five star hotel, but he's at least. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's an open space. Yeah, uh, he's open space. He sees sun. He watch TV. He read newspaper. You know, he live like. Yeah, yeah. yeah he shower every day. You know. So now you are waiting, but if some nothing come, you will uh, do something else. Yeah, of course. We are waiting for the committee to take decisions. Whatever decisions comes up, I will uh, announce it to the press. Okay. And if not, you are ready not, to... Yeah, we have all possibilities. We have all the possibilities. Even though we think if they kill Hassan, we're going to kill everybody we have. Not me, I will say. The military wing will say that. But you said the Turkish guy will be the first to die. Yes. Why? Because the Turkish is more important. Than the other. No, Why? no, 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 because the Turks take responsibility of the existence of FSA. Otherwise, if there is no Turkey border open and uh, cooperation between the uh, uh, Turkish authorities, they wouldn't, you wouldn't find uh, or see FSA. Okay. You won't. I don't But you won't forgive. Huh? You, you won't, people. People of Lebanon, people of Syria, people of Turkey, people of the world, you want your man back, you want your brother back. We, our, we want our son back. We have nothing to do with the civil war here or anything against civil war. We are not going to uh, shoot at anybody. Oh, I, I challenge everybody to say if we uh, drop one one drop of blood on the street. No, we are not seeking for problems or troubles. We need our son back home. And you're not involved in what happened on the airport road? No, no. We, we said we're going to kidnap, we kidnap. If we're going to block the road, airport road, we say, we kidnap, but we did not. We condemn closing the airport road. And this operation is not linked to the, to the Hezbollah? No, 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 no. We have Hezbollah nothing to do with us. Okay. Everybody knows our history with Hezbollah. Okay. And you don't care about who's going to win in Syria? You just oh, we don't care if the Syrian regime win or the uh, FSA. We need our son back home. Okay. But you, this is will be my last question. Uh, if you are doing this, don't you fear that anybody can do this in Lebanon? Any family can uh, uh, make the kidnapping to say, uh, I have this no, problem no, no, to let's solve. Let's do it clear. And we can come back to what no, happened no, no, in the... Let's do it uh, that clear. 
there was 11 pilgrims in Syria. Four months, nobody did anything to them. We saw that experience. That's why we took this action and to bring our son back. Otherwise, we have to wait four months and a lunatic like this Abu Ibrahim comes to us with putting a, a color in his face, say, oh, four pilgrims killed and Come on, man. We need our son back home, and that's it. And you and your family, which is a big family, you won't hesitate if you need to kill someone. someone. No, 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 no. We are we talk, putting pressure to get our son back home. That's it. And you, of course, you would like if uh, it would come down without any blood and without any. We would more. like that. We would love that. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Just... Anytime. Anytime.